Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity with me, Break It Down. Let's see what's up here. And then I also need to speak to Durance again, since we rested last episode. Oh, it's just a shortcut. Hmm? If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're skinning your knuckles on the wrong door. I'm pretty sure we've exhausted all the options under region and history. Huh. I suspect the answers will seed more questions. All right. Tell me about Mogrin. Never mind. <laughs> I suspect the answers will seed more questions. I wanted to know more about you. He grunts. Where are you from? Where I hail from? From one of Mogrin's fires. A cathedral. Ashfall. Made of blackened trees. During sighs, his hand tightening on the staff for a moment, then relaxes. I studied the scriptures there. The fires carved into the land. The trunks of the burnt trees. And in the factories where the rifles and cartridges were shaped. All are chapels in other devotions. Other devotions. Durance nods. For Magrin, any fire is enough for worship, physical or not. A blacksmith's anvil, a craftsman's bench, all arenas where fire is waiting to be born. Durant snaps his finger. It just needs a spark, like an alchemical fire, or a spark to cartridges to speed them to their purpose. Their purpose? Durant starts his head thinking. Well, their purpose then. It was many thens ago. Durant scratches his beard. His beard is a little brighter than now. But yes, cartridges. Guns all had a purpose, and that purpose was punching holes in mages and letting their pompous air hiss out. Durance gives a half smile, then a nod. Woke their kind right up and kept them staring at the ceiling in the dark instead of sleeping. That's for certain. Aloth rolls his eyes. Pompous air indeed. A little violence as an accounting. An answer for unchecked power. Well, Margaret gave an answer for that. Margaret put soldiers and mages on equal footing. Durance nods again. Mages were troublesome in that time. Arms made every man a mage, and a caster's pretty arcane shield was little match for them. It turned each commoner into a beast that could spit fire. It leveled the field of battle, that's for certain. Made many a mage a grave. Tell me more about Ashfall. Durance grunts. You're more curious about it than most of Margaret's faithful. What else can you tell me about Ashfall? What more to tell? Durance frowns, his hand tightening on his staff again, his fingers seeming to sink into the wood. It is one of the greatest fires of Mogrin, the high seat. He shrugs. Some say the blackest, not of evil, but of ash. All that remains after fire has fed. He pauses. I called it a cathedral before. That's not the full truth of it. It's more a battlefield. It lies in the heart of the ward black trees. Its timbers built from the burnt forest there, each timber blessed by fire, in one of Magrin's greatest battles. Many of us helped shape the war effort there, with flames and firearms. But what is the cathedral like? Massive. Beautiful. Blessed by the gods, flame cannot strike it twice. Terence's eyes travel... Eyes travels to his ashen staff, studying the etchings. Beneath... Tunnels and chambers, bellows and fire pits, and many of the faithful looking for a means to bring fire to the world. He turns his gaze from the staff to you. Guns, explosives, alchemy. All these are our holy symbols, and we are eager to share. That staff of yours seems like your holy symbol. This? In a way. This... This is more of what's left behind when flame strikes. If Ashfall is a cathedral propped up and fenced with such sticks, then this stick, well, this is what props me up as I walk the cathedral of my road to other Ashfalls waiting to be made, perhaps. Durance blinks as if in surprise. The wood is taken from the war of black trees. Sturdy. It served me well on my travels. Been a boon companion. He cradles it. Turning it with his hands. 
Can you tell me of the War of Black Trees? Are you serving a while? Let mysteries and questions remain with him. Oh, never mind. I've read that before. Hmm. All right. Bit just like your breeches, scholar lot. Uh, I beg your pardon? Nothing. I said nothing. Icona's face flushes, his gold brown skin going a ruddy shade. All right, let's go in here and speak with the throne. All right, am I forgetting anything? Let me come back. Whoops. Spoilers. <laughs> uh, what do I got? Okay, let's go and speak to Adair and Aloth as well. We'll start with Aloth. Aloth seems lost in thought. He flinches when you draw near, sucking a sharp breath through his teeth. What can I do for you? You've been acting strange. A crumbling castle, abandoned to memories, and an old man who can no longer tell them from reality. I'd say we've seen some rather strange things. His lips twitch into a flat smile. And if Meowald is to be believed... It would seem you've an uncertain future ahead. He watches you carefully. He was out of his mind. I don't play stock in the ramblings of a lunatic. Perhaps Defiance Bay holds the answers we need. Alas snugs his cloak about his shoulders, glancing at you out of the corner of his eye. I want to discuss something else. That old watcher. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it sure wasn't that. He shakes his head and chuckles. You said you had some things you wanted to ask him. Nah, it's... Well, it's kind of embarrassing now. I just got a dumb idea in my head is all. Don't know why I thought it'd work. That's funny. That's probably the first thing I got my hopes up for in... I don't know. Years. At least I got that out of it. You're going to ask him in front of me anyway. You may as well tell me now. All right. Yes, fair is fair, and you did bring me to see him. Those rumors back in Gilded Vale about my brother, Woden. About how he'd turned against us and fought for Widewind. Been on my mind for some time now. He sighs. The thing about Woden was, he always knew what was right, and that's what he'd do. One day he set out to fight for Deerwood against a man claiming to be our god. So I knew that's what I had to do, too. It was right. Hearing claims that he died fighting for Ray at Saris, that got me worried. Not that he'd chosen the wrong side, but that I had. It didn't seem right what Widewind had in store, but if he really was Aethys. Keep saying Aethys, it's Aethys. Try to keep that in mind. I keep trying to keep it in mind, but there's a lot of uh, new names for me to learn in this game. Uh, he shakes his head. I thought. Maybe this old Watcher would know how my brother died. So I could see if it was true. Like he could, I don't know, read it in my soul or something. Use our connection. Told you it was dumb. <laughs> Option three. Now why didn't you ask me for help? Guess because I didn't know you. It's hard to trust a stranger that says he's a Watcher. Of course I knew the truth deep down. A Watcher's not psychic. I think I just had this idea, and the idea made me feel a certain way, and I didn't want to lose that. Really, if I wanted to find out about my brother, I shouldn't be starting with Watchers. I should be starting with Records. You should be prepared that there may be no record of your brother's death. Wouldn't be any off worse. Wouldn't be any worse off then, would I? Adair thinks a moment. His lips twisted to one side. He raises his eyebrows. If there was anything written down about it, they'd have it in Defiance Bay. They got an archive at the palace. You've done a lot for me already, but if you could see fit to pay that archive a visit with me, well, you know. Knowing my luck, the records clerk will go crazy and try to kill me. I'd feel better with you in there with me. All right, two more level ups.
Oh, he has access to more spells. We'll take a look at those here in a second as well. All right, five new chants. Lo, their endless host, the Harbingers of Doom. The Frightened Aura for enemies. One dozen stood against the power of the saint. So friendly aura, bonus defense against frightened attacks. Reduce frightened duration. Defense against terrified attacks and reduce terrified duration. Rhyme and Frost followed at the footfalls of Karth. Friendly aura dropped trap. All right, so it hinders enemies. Okay. Sure-handed Illa, Notra arrows with speed. No bonus reload speed. Really only benefits him and Durance when I have his crossbow equipped. The fox from the farmer did run and leap. Don't worry about disengaging enemies. I think. This isn't bad. I don't know that we've come across a lot of frightening uh, enemies that can use frightened and terrified. But a debuff for enemies would be good. So we get Low, their endless host, the Harbingers of Doom. Creates a field of terror, frightening enemies in the area of effect. So I think we'll bring that into me. our. Chant. All right. Yeah. All right, looks good to me. Mm -hmm. And then Durance has new spells. We have Circular Protection. Plus 15 defenses for 12.5 seconds. Creates a large zone of divine shelter, granting allies a bonus to all defenses. Uh, can we an AoE in that? I might only. Let's see how big it is. Despondent Blows. It's a foe AoE, minus 15 melee accuracy, plus 15% of crits converted to hits for 37.5 seconds. Nagging Doubt in the face of Unbreakable Faith. Consumes enemies in the area of effect, lowering their melee accuracy and critical hit range. Dire Blessing. So plus 20% of hits converted to crits for 37.5 seconds. Faith its allies resolve in battle, increasing the probability they will land a critical hit. Pillar of Faith. That is some crushing damage and prone. Calls on a pillar of divine judgment, inflicting crush damage and knockdown on enemies in the area of effect. Prayer against restraint. It's immunity to hobbled and stuck for 25 seconds. That'd be really good fighting those starring spiders. Probably should have done the Radric quest first, then come here. That's okay. A freeze allies in the air of effect from perceived constraints, granting immunity to the hobbled and stuck afflictions. Restore moderate endurance. We've seen this before, it's just an upgraded version of the heal. Warding seal. Hazard AoE does some shock damage. Generates a magical seal that explodes in a burst of electrical energy when an enemy comes into contact with it, inflicting shock damage. And Watchful Presence. The target's friendlies. Plus 39.2 endurance when endurance below 20%. Uh, blesses allies with the aid of a sympathetic soul, releasing a healing effect when their endurance is low. Does it last for all of combat, or is it... It doesn't have a duration listed, so I assume it just lasts until yeah. they need it in combat. And maybe after combat's over, it goes away? But wait, I can't cast it till combat, right? What? Yeah, it has to be in combat. Yeah. Alright, let's go talk to the throne. 
Then we'll probably do some traveling. I want to go grab the camping supplies I left behind at... I don't have the list here. Ingrid's House and Gilded Vale and the Black Meadow. I felt Mayor Walt's passing. You slew him. He gave me no choice. It saddens me to hear it. But part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness. The steward is silent a moment. The air seems to chill. This place has always known its master, long as it's had one. It has a will all its own, which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. It looks to you as Meowald's successor now, whether you care for it or not. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands, it could be so much more. If you had only seen it in its day, will you... will you stay? I've always wanted my own keep, even if it is a little cursed. Feel that same emanation of warmth, energy in the air. And it is yours, my lord. I cannot begin to tell you how glad, that is, how good it is to know that the keep is in capable hands once again. I suppose I should mention first that if you mean to travel to Defiance Bay for supplies, there has been a complication of a kind. The Eastern Barbican collapsed decades ago. Merwald never got around to rebuilding it. The road here is a dead end. He got as far as gathering materials before he became preoccupied. I could make arrangements to have it repaired, if it is your will. When it ceased to be the previous master's will, I became powerless to do anything about it. For what am I but the master's instrument? It would take time, but far less than finding another route to Defiance Bay. How do I repair the Barbican? Merwald set aside materials for the Barbican. They are still available to you. In the future, if you wish to make further repairs to the keep, we will need coin for supplies and labor. What does being the master of Cade Noir entail? Why, there are many responsibilities involved in maintaining a keep. The extent to which you wish uh, to get involved is entirely up to you, of course. Part of the reason I am here is to ensure that things run smoothly in your absence, provided we have been given instruction. If you instruct me on which repairs you wish to conduct next, I'll make the necessary arrangements. This may take some time to finish, but each will provide you with additional resources once they are completed. Or complete. Given somewhere to place them, we can hire tradesmen to provide you with supplies or ingredients. Repairing the keep will raise your prestige and draw both helpful individuals and unwelcome attention from bandits and opportunists. If we can raise the keep security in turn, this will become less of a concern. You should know, however, that the position does come with some risk. Your name will grow in fame, and you must contend with threats to the keep. And then, there are other things. Was there anything else, my lord? What did you mean when you said this keep was cursed? Merwald's curse was his own, a watcher's curse. But his predecessors have not fared better. There is a presence within the keep, or rather, far beneath it. At least, such has been the conclusion drawn by all who have come to this place. For what spirit still lingers in the endless paths oft speak of a master below. Every effort to settle here has failed the time of our dear and colonists onward. Beasts rise from the endless paths, though the new lord or lady is no more. The one who dwells below, this master, does not tolerate rivals, it seems. I have seen, from time to time, intrepid explorers descend to lay claim to what answers they can, but none return. This is the force which has kept Cadenois a barren ruin, and robbed me of my hopes. The endless paths. That, my friend, is where I must go. Or we must go, if you will go with me. Whatever devils lie beneath, think to what knowledge we will find. Perhaps this master speaks of Deeran. What are the endless paths? The endless paths of Old Noir, or sorry, Odd, that's said Old, of Odd Noir. That is the name given to the labyrinth beneath the keep. The Earl, he... We were warned by the Glenfothans that this site was cursed. And there's a legend attached to it, though at the time we thought nothing of it. The ruins were built, it is said, by a powerful Ngwitha named Adnwa, who ruled there until his people turned against him. They destroyed his endless paths, they filled many of the upper tunnels with, 
in with soil and stone. No one living knows how far down the tunnels stretch, and few who have ventured there have returned. There's much talk of riches and treasure. The promise of Igwithin relics alone has drawn many fortune seekers. To their deaths, I fear. Who is this master below? I could not say with any certainty. I believe it must be tied to the man said to have been the architect of the Endless Paths, Igwithin Tyrant, Adnoa. Some claim a spirit endures, or at least has laid a curse upon the site. I cannot imagine much remains of his work, but the ruins have been here a thousand years or more. But what is left is... impressive. Daryl certainly thought so. You may have seen, while below, the hand of the great statue Adnawa constructed. Perhaps it is a statue of Adnawa himself. But am I not the master of Kaidnawa? Of course you are. The keep would have no other, but the endless paths are a different thing entirely. It is unfortunate, really that they are so closely entwined. If the master below is not dealt with, there will always be a threat to the keep from within. I... I know it is much to take in, but if you would remain, if you would be a lord of this place, I can only advise you seek out this foe before it destroys you. I have other questions. Yes, how can I help? I time to find this queen in the City of Defiance. You must know, this queen you're looking for Defiance Bay has no queen. The Mechwins of Adir have reigned here since the war. The only queen with any power there is Wodoka. I am told they erected an exquisite temple in her honor there, but I was never able to see it. You mean to go there? We can get started right away in repairing the Barbican. You need only tell me what you wish to do, and I'll make the necessary arrangements. Mermod kept a ledger, as it happens, and I have taken the liberty of updating it. You could take a look if you wish. Now let me see what repairs I can make. Then we get underway at once. The steward's voice belies a giddy excitement. No, my lord, but this is but the first and least of a great many undertakings. The keep supported a great many buildings and servants for many years. If you should wish it, we can repair some of the outlying structures, and these will bring you wealth and recognition, drawing people to your service. Rebuilding the defenses will keep your grounds from becoming overrun, as they did under Merwald's keeping. Now you need not choose all at once. I am pledged to your aid, and so long as you are master here, we shall always be linked. You need not step upon these grounds to speak with me. Wherever your travels may take you, you make your will known to me, if you but reach out. Oh, but first, of course, the Barbican. Alright, let's take a look at some of the things. Oh, we can buy a lot. Okay. Alright, we'll start with the Eastern Barbican. Eastern Barbican gates passage to the Woodland Plains, the crosses between Cadenwa, Deerford, and Defiance Bay. I'm not, going to I'm not going to read this out loud until I actually purchase the things. So, I think this would be a good idea if we come back here often. We have enough for it. So, let's get the Bright Hollow Restoration. So, Bright Hollow will allow you to rest there. Other upgrades can unlock resting bonuses for it. I guess... We still have the money, and I have a lot of stuff I can sell as well, so I'm not worried about money. At least not right now. So we'll upgrade the main keep as well. Well, let's see, what else did we get for... Well, it's not done yet, so I guess nothing.
Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this. Well, how much was this other one? This is cheaper. Let's get the Warden's Lodge next. The Warden's Lodge watches over the wilds near the Stronghold. Upgrading the Lodge will grant a bonus to the survival skill upon resting at Bright Hollow, as well as provide access to the Warden. It offers high-level bounties. Oh, you can only do one at a time. Okay, well, that makes it easier. Mm. We can explore the endless paths. I want to go buy some camping supplies first, and I would not mind uh, doing the Radric quest as well. It's already been done. I'm not going that way yet. We still have places to explore before we head to Defiance Bay. Oh, right. I confess, I was hoping our meeting with Mayorwald would go a little differently. But then, you have gained an entire keep. I don't think I've seen anyone inherit land that quickly since Kind the Younger read her father's will. I was here for money, not for a new home, so... It appears that I am one of the gentry now. I wonder... I think the Deerwood will be slow to call you Thane, or even Lord. Not that you don't deserve the titles, but these things are always complicated. Still, in practice, you are King of the Keep. It will give you a base from which to go searching at least. And then, there are secrets beneath the Keep yet. <laughs> With you at the helm, it should be easier to explore the endless paths. His voice acting did not match the dialogue. Uh, it was just the beginning of the first sentence and some of the end of the first sentence. No, second sentence. Either way, he grins eagerly. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go grab some camping supplies. I'm glad that I saw that the Warden offers bounties. That'll be a good, good thing to get first, I think. Right, I've already been through here. I'm going to fast forward through all this. Uh, grab these camping supplies. Go back to Gilded Vale. Grab the other camping supplies. Rest. Sure. And we'll call it an episode and we'll go to Eastern or Eastern Wood in the next one. Also need something by the merchant. Maybe I'll save that for next episode. Right. Well, it won't take long. Let's go ahead and take care of all the housekeeping stuff so we're ready to explore in the next one. In fact, I have to tell this stuff to her. I don't need to go to the smithery. Let's go to Pasca and sell our stuff there. Hello. I wouldn't make a lot of money off that. That's okay. Yeah. Good day to you. I just want to top off. Before we continue our journey. I want to clear out some of our inventories as well. Let me do one more thing. All these things in the community chest.
I mean, it's a little much. In fact, this is a little much. We can sell that too. Keep you. Yeah. All right. This is a great stopping point, and in the next one, we'll head towards Eastern Wood or Eastern Wood. I assume it's Eastern. If it was Eastern Wood, I assume it'd be EA saying, "Oh, it's to the east of Gilded Vale." It could still be the same thing. Who knows? Alright, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next one.